So I was cooking up on stream the other day and I tried to open 3X Oscillator and I by accident clicked on Fruity DX10. And I've never heard of this plugin before, never used it. Apparently it's like an emulator of DX7, the OG synth, but there's some really weird sounds in there. So I tasked myself to make a fully stock plugin beat out of this. Here's how it went. So a lot of these sounds are pretty fried, but I did find this one pluck called harmonics. And then I just made this pretty simple pattern. Super simple, but it hits. And there's also like a weird tone in there that I really like. So after that, I added this little music box sound. Again, pretty ugly sounding, but they work nicely together. And then I found this other little weird glassy pluck called Plink. And then I just added a few notes to spice it up. And with all these sounds together, it already sounds pretty full because that main melody is pretty fast and like busy. But I went ahead and added this sub bass, this sine bass. And I think I just boosted it kind of crazy and added some effector lo-fi just to give it that bit crush sound. And here's how all those sound together now. For stock plugins, man, that's pretty far if you ask me. So yeah, the melody's already super busy. We could just move on straight to the drums. So then I got this hi-hat for my drum kit and I actually put a square envelope on it. So I have more control over the release of the notes. I'll show you how it sounds with and without the envelope. It just adds a bunch of nice bounce. So moving on, I got this clap. Super bouncy and super simple. Then I added this snare that I use in really every beat. And for this pattern, I wanted it to be kind of busy and interesting, so I added a bunch of notes. And in my melodies and my drums, I always try to add a bit of variation at the end just to keep things interesting when they come back around. And then I grabbed this 8-bit 808 from my drum kit and I turned the out knob super short so it had a very quick release. And then I just tried to draw in a bouncy, simple pattern that just followed the root notes of the melody. And then after doing the 808, it sounded pretty put together, but I still wanted to add one little piece of ear candy. So I added this little analog bass from my unreleased drum kit. Yeah, here's how the full drums sound together. And that's really the full beat. This beat was super simple, but it actually turned out really fire considering it was all stock sounds. I actually had a lot of fun forcing myself to use these stock sounds. So if you guys want to see another video, maybe next time I'll do a stock video with just drums too. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you want any of the sounds I use in this, you know where to get them. Link in the bio. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Hey, Glumboy.